Hi, my tubies, teletubbies, ladies and genitals. <laughs> I still haven't gotten over that. Ladies and gents, today I want to share with you, and I'm going to get straight to the point. This is something that I've been wanting to talk about forever. And I have been feeling this way and I have been saying this forever. Now, we're going to listen to Donna Barnes, who she is a professional um, psychiatrist. She has her uh, her MD and her, not PhD. Yeah, she has a PhD and her MD in uh, psychology. And this is the facts. Of course, I told you that my son where you see a picture of him and me, he is mentally healthy. He really is. You know, uh, who's perfect? Nobody is. But the point I'm trying, we're going to talk about is it's time to stop blaming your parents. And my son here, he understands that concept. He understands it. He takes full responsibility, accountability. And when you hear what I have been saying forever, forever, and I have been trying to get people uh, to, Ready, to, to understand, to understand where I'm coming from. And, and finally, Alrighty. I was listening to some things on YouTube, you know, professionals and listening to the experts. And to be honest, it is so refreshing to have my feelings confirmed. Powering on. You know, so we're going Battery to listen to, to this. I'm putting my speaker on. Ready to pair. And uh, I want you to share with me in this and give me your comments, your, your viewpoint of how you feel about this. And hold up, something is downloading right Aired. now. Okay, great. Uber. I've been hanging out with Uber a lot these days. Anyway, listen and tell me what you think. Your parents for your bad behavior. And I'm talking Wait, about this because it's unbelievable. Hold on, there you People go. Hi, I'm Donna Barnes. In this clip, I want to talk to you about it is time to stop blaming your parents for your bad behavior. And I'm talking about this because it's unbelievable to me. People, you know, say, oh, well, my parents were this or that and they left me and then like and then they have abandonment issues and insecurities and commitment issues and anxiety issues. I mean, trust me, it's all real. However, you're now an adult. Thank and you. Yes. Our issues come from our childhood, but once you get to a certain age, you have free will to fix those issues and stop blaming your parents. And it's really on a... Have I not been saying that forever? Like at every, each and every one of my videos, what do I always end it with? You always have a choice. Please choose wisely. Once you reach adulthood, you can't sit up there and blame your parents. I've always said in my videos, if you backtrack... You know, you're in the driver's seat now. You're in the driver's seat. So sitting around here, sitting up there talking about, I hate my mother. And nine times out of ten, it's usually females who are hating their mothers. Now, they have been with abusive men, men who are narcissistic, men who are sociopaths and psychopaths, and they will hang with these men forever. And when these men are ready to leave these females, these women will fight holding on to their leg. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. But why don't you hold on to the leg of your parent who you felt treated you so badly? According to you, your mother, who I don't get along with that B-I-T-C-H. Oh, now she's a B-I-T-C-H. Mm -hmm. But when you couldn't do for yourself, you know, when you're a baby, when you're a, a toddler, when you're an adolescent to some extent, you can't do for yourself. She wasn't no B-I-T-C-H then. She was sitting up there taking care of you. And now that they're strong enough to do for themselves, they're ready to give their mothers their behind the kiss. Really? How come you didn't give that clown who treated you so badly, who cheated on you last week? How come you didn't give him your behind to kiss? He sat up there and he damaged you emotionally. He scarred you. He gave you PTSD. How come you hanging so dearly onto him? You know what? When I talk about this and I look at the comments below, I hardly ever get any comments. You know why? Because the females know that I'm right. They, they don't have nothing to say. Because they know they're wrong. You can sit up here 
and discard your mother, but you won't discard this no good bastard who has cheated on you, made a baby with someone else, have beat on you, whether it's physically, mentally, or emotionally, and you're still there with him. Oh, I've been married for 11 years. I've been married. Really? That's why I never hardly get any comments below. Because these females know that they're wrong. And when their lives don't turn out the way that they hoped for it to turn out or the way that they wanted it to, guess who's the first person they blame? Their parents. No, number one, Uno, always the mother. My son did not do that. That's why I posted him and me here on this, this right here. Thank God for education. Of the, the, that victim mentality of like, oh, I had this horrible childhood, so, you know, this is why I do this. And trust me, I get it. Not Most people didn't have like the most rosy childhood. I mean, let's face it, our parents didn't have the knowledge that today's parents have, right? Like there's all sorts of like, you know, self-help out there that wasn't around. Hello, holla. I never blame my mom for the way, the things that I've done. And trust me when I tell you, Tubies, Teletubbies, ladies, genitals, gents. No, I don't blame her. My mom raised six children on her own. My dad had passed away, okay? She she just raised six kids on her own. I'm the only girl. There was five boys. A woman trying to raise, uh, bring up men? That was rough. And my brothers did not make it easy on my mom at all. So the things that I went through, and then I think about my mom, how she was raised. You know, I think about the way her mother and her dad, her dad used to beat her so bad. He used to throw her as a little baby girl, throw her across beds and on the floor. My mom didn't even have panties or underwear to go. She had to take like a knapsack to tie it up on her in the hot blazing sun in Missouri, because that's where she was raised. She was hungry like crazy. She used to have to like take a, a rock or something and hit a pigeon in the head, pluck the feathers off and fry up a pigeon. A pigeon is diseased. I mean, my mom had to go through all of that crap. So when she raised me, she was determined that she was going to do better than what she had. I was never hungry. Our home was always immaculate. My mom was always a working woman. My mom, she had a drinking problem. You know what I'm saying? She she had the, that kind of issue, but that's lightweight as far as I'm concerned compared to where she came from. Whatever her issues were, I'll take it, okay? Because that's the, please. When I think about my mom's background and the little minute things that I went through, I don't, how do you say, I'm not like my daughter. My daughter, she tends to magnify things. You know, something may have happened that was minor and she'll take it and make it full-blown magnifying it. <sighs> you know, my daughter, she's a trip, yo. Most females are hard on their mothers and you need to put a stop to that. And my question to you right now is when is the last time you picked up the phone and did FaceTime with your mom? You should be doing FaceTime with your mom at least once a week. Going to visit your mom at least every two weeks. I don't care what she did. What kind of background and what kind of child, childhood did she come from? I know you don't want to hear it, but like I said, once you get to a certain age and you become an adult, you can no longer blame your parents. You're making these choices. If you didn't like the way things were done to you, you break the cycle. You break the cycle. And make sure you do right by your kids. My daughter didn't even raise her kids. How about that? At least I stayed on the job and I raised my kids. And the reason I say she didn't raise her children is because whenever she told those kids to do something, they never listened to her. When her husband spoke, that's when they listened. Now, who's raising the kids? Him or her? It's not her. Because they don't listen to her. When most of us were little. So, yeah, we've all had crap that scarred us, Thank you. quite frankly. But you're so much more empowered if you're not blaming your parents for it. And you're taking responsibility for your issues. And, yeah, sometimes things will happen. But it's, it's much 
healthier and more attractive if you acknowledge it and apologize and say, you know, my bad, I'm sorry, that's a deep issue for me. And I've been working on that, but I'm trying really hard not to do that. Is such a more attractive place to come from than going, well, you know, my, my mom left when I was little, so I have abandonment issues, and that's just the way I respond to it. And you made me feel like you left me, so it's your fault. Blame is toxic. Thank you. And anytime you blame anybody for why you did something, you're pushing them away. It's certainly not making them attractive to you. And actually, no one can ever make you do anything. Hello. You're Hello, I'm loving the fact that she said that no one can make you do anything. I recall my daughter talking about where I did this because that's what you showed me. That's what you showed me. You didn't do that because that's what I showed you. That's If I could talk to her face to face. No, you didn't. Because what I showed you is that you don't lose your virginity unless you're married. That's what I showed you. Did you follow that? Uh, no. I also showed you that you you do not bring children into the world out of wedlock. You're supposed to be married when you have children. I showed you that. Did you listen and follow that? Um, no. What you did is she followed what she wanted to do. She did what she wanted to do. I made some mistakes along the way being a single parent trying to do the best that I could. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit up here and play Miss Polly Pure like I was Miss uh, Miss Angelica. No, I made mistakes. At the same time, when you make mistakes, you have to be accountable for them. You have to apologize. I have done that numerous times to no avail because she still want to keep beating me over my head. My son, he says, I understand, Mom. I hear you at the same time. You know, what my sister is going through is maybe she feels like you keep trying to make an excuse for what you have done because you explain that you're sorry, but you always come up with an excuse. I don't come up with an excuse. Excuse. I come up with what I was taught from the Bible. The Bible says when you explain and give reasons for what you've done, that's called insight. And when you... When a person has insight, then they start to understand more. They're more understanding. It's not like you're trying to excuse your behavior. You're just trying to get them to understand why you did what you did. What was your motive behind what you did? It's not like I'm trying to uh, uh, excuse myself from it. No, no. I wanted to be the best parent ever. I wanted to get the golden prize for one, one, and then maybe not the best, but I wanted to be one of the best parents. I tell you this, I did the best I could. Am I beating myself up anymore? Nope, not anymore. No, I'm not. Why should I? I did the best that I could. When I signed on to have these got dogged children, I signed on to be with a husband. Now, he's the one who cheated, and she's that's the one that she wanted to take care of. He, did, he was never there for her, never. But she wanted to take good care of him, take care of his drug habit and everything, move him in the house, uh, pay for his clothes, let him live off of her for rent free. He did nothing for her. Whereas when it comes to me, the one who stayed on the job, she's ready to sit up there and throw me to the wayside. Is, is that right? She can't throw me to the wayside because I freaking threw her to the wayside. How about that? She's disgusting as far as I'm concerned individual with free will and you have choice everything you do is a choice and Thank you. yes you might have to make a stronger choice if you have a deep issue about something mm -hmm. but you still do have a choice and if you didn't choose to behave empowered that's on you it's not on your parents your parents did the best that they can Hello? and now you're an adult for better or for worse so why not be for better be empowered and be attractive. It's I think it's very attractive when someone admits, hey, yeah, I, I recognize that this is an issue and I'm working on it. And I that's not about you. Right? I mean, so many miscommunications and arguments happen in a relationship because you're responding to your childhood wound, and then your partner's going, I don't understand. What the heck? I, I don't get that. 
right? But if you're blaming them, then now it's going to perpetuate that argument. But if you can take that, you know, emotion out of it and calmly go, you know what, I'm sorry, that's about my stuff. And I apologize. That's not about you, right? Then now that person loves you. They're going to want to try to help you and make you feel better and you'll get a much better response. So if you're feeling wounded and damaged from something in your childhood, believe me, I do sympathize. I do. I've had my own stuff to work through. So do I. But you're a much more attractive and empowered adult if you're taking responsibility for your own issues and not allowing them to sabotage your relationships. Thank you so much. Again, that was Donna Barnes. Yeah, she's right on, on, on time. I sympathize also, and I could understand what happens. You know what I'm saying? But w especially when you have a single parent, they're doing the best that they can. First of all, a woman was not designed to be raising children anyway. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 says, You fathers, you fathers go on raising up these kids, teaching them to live their lives in harmony with God and the Bible and all the above. You fathers are supposed to be doing that. A woman, she's designed to carry out the man's orders. Your dad said that he wants you in bed, uh, washed and clean when he gets home. He wants dinner. He wants to have the family meeting. Your dad said, this is the way it's supposed to be. My job as the mother and the wife is to carry out those orders. But when the woman is sitting up here with all of this on top of her, trying to work a job, trying to be everything, everything, the mother and the father, it's too much. It's too much. And my son, he understood where I was coming from. He understood. My daughter, please. Anyway. You always have a choice, like I say and I, in all of my videos. Please, 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 my tubies, my Teletubbies, ladies and genitals. <laughs> please choose wisely. Until next time, two thumbs up.